So, uh, yeah, let's get on with this. Hello there, people of YouTube, and welcome to the Spike Hair Podcast, where today I'm going to be talking about the Angry Birds movie 2, directed by Turup Van Orman and starring Jason Sudeskis, Josh Gad, and Leslie Jones. And this is the second of the Angry Birds movie based on that popular mobile game that everyone played in, I think it was 2011, 2012. Everyone started binging it. It was a fun little game, and this does unfortunately count as a video game movie because it's a video and it's a game. So we have this. Now, <laughs> the story of this one, is that the birds and pigs are still feuding with each other on the two islands, but the pigs discover that there is a third island inhabited by eagles that are throwing massive ice boulders towards the island, trying to smash them to pieces. So the pigs propose a truce, which Red is unfortunately not a big fan of, because he's worried that if he's no longer the hero everyone looks to, then everyone's just going to abandon him, make him feel all alone again, is the long and short of this film. Now, I will be honest, I did not see the first Angry Birds movie. I saw hits and bits of it, and I heard it was quite good, considering if we're going for how true it is to the video game, then... It basically just adds story to the fact that they're slingshotting each other around. And I like that the slingshots in this are now like a transport system for these birds. But I will say this this film, against my better judgment, I laughed a lot at this film. I really did laugh a lot. My particular highlights had to be the pigs. The pigs banter was incredibly hilarious. I absolutely loved a lot of the jokes, even though the jokes were predictable and cliche and there was hardly any original ideas in this plot, they do a bloody heist montage for Christ's sake. The old, we're getting a crew together. They do that and it is entertaining. I didn't hate this movie. I just love the dynamic between all the birds and pigs, the banter between them. I thought that was very highly enjoyable and... Just a lot of the set pieces, even these bad jokes that just got a laugh out of me. Like there's one bit where a bird says something to the pig that sounds similar to spandex. And the pigs are shown to be wearing spandex skating on ice. It's just... <laughs> there's two of these movies. There are two of these movies. There's this dynamic between Red and Chuck's sister. And it's obvious they're going to get together because Red's all lonely and they want to get in the speed dating. So we know there's going to be romance between the two. And it does have a bit of a this message, this movie, but it does it in the right way. Silver is not in your face. You're just naturally a genius to get shunned by society. And it did melt my heart a little bit when you see this little chick basically say, I want to be a scientist when I grow up after seeing how great Silver is. And I feel that's a real big positive message for the younger generation, especially those watching this film. One of my only problems with this film is there's this, <laughs> there's a side plot involving three chicks that is sort of pointless and just gets something to do at the very end. It's sort of there for the adorable kids to giggle at, even though there are some dark moments in it. I don't know, it felt needless that I got very annoyed every time they did cut to these little chicks and they basically throw them in at the end just to give an excuse for that side plot existing but they could have taken out of the movie and it would have been perfectly fine. Also Red's insecurities are a bit over the top at times. He's a little too dumb this character. I know this is a kids movie and everything is over the top. There's a time and a place to stop being petty and actually get on with things. And as for the villain of this movie, Little Daft, there's a big twist. Well, it's not really a twist, but it's, it's obvious how it's going to go. It's obviously how it's going to be resolved come the end of the film. But we don't come for the story. There's nothing really original in the story apart from having Angry Birds characters in it. You see where the solution is going to be coming from. But it is a legit threat, though. They want to fire ice balls of lava at this island to make the inhabitants go away. That is something else in a kids movie that's quite a high stake to have in these sorts of films but overall guys i will say that the angry birds movie isn't the best animated film ever no but is it terrible no i had a lot of fun with it there's a lot of immature jokes sure the plot is not very unique sure but just the way the cast interacts together i can't help but laugh and have a fun time myself this is a fun film to watch something groundbreaking it's not 
up there with How to Train Your Dragon 3 or even Toy Story 4, which I thought was a little bit disappointing, but there you go. Overall, guys, I'm going to have to say that the Angry Birds Movie 2 just needs more sugar. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this review, guys. If you did like it, feel free to obviously hit that like button. If you like what I do on this channel, feel free to hit that round subscribe button for more content coming all the time. And what did you think about the Angry Birds movie 2? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, guys. And until next time, this is that Spike Hair Podcast signing off.